All right, people. So I, I I made a Periscope video. I think it was on Sunday after the Orlando shooting. Um, it was like eight or nine minutes long. But I want to make another one here, kind of talking mainly about gun control, but but kind of just in general the whole shooting thing. So the first point I want to bring up here, I got a few notes written down here. The first thing I want to bring up is whenever there's a mass shooting, people freak out, and they it's blown out of proportion. It's put in all the newspapers and it's on all the news sites. Mass shooting, you know, people dead. We need gun control now. You know, we need to act now. But just, and if we look at, like, by year, gun homicides by year, it's actually like 11,000, 10,000, 12,000. It fluctuates, but it's somewhere in that area. But people only get outraged when it's like, you know, 20 people killed at once, when in reality, that, that's such a small percentage of the amount of people killed in actual gun homicides, or even homicides every year. So, I, I, I really don't get why people, you know, you know, freak out when, like, 20, 30, 40, 50 people are gunned down at, at a time, but they don't freak out about the 11,000 number. So, but anyway... Oh, another thing, too, I want to talk about is um, we got to admit that this is radical Islamic terrorism. You know, a lot, a lot of members on the left, including Obama, won't call it, you know, they, they won't put in there that it's Islamic, which is a very key point we have to include. We have to call this what it is. This guy is a Muslim, and that... that because he's a radical Muslim, this is why he did this. See, they want to call this like a hate hate crime or some shit like that. No, this guy is a fucking radical Islamic terrorist. Um, and we have to say that because his religion is influencing what he is, what he did. He did that because, you know, he thinks that gay should be... Obviously, he's not a big fan of gays and thinks gay should be killed. But they want to exclude that because it doesn't fit their 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 narrative. They don't want to call it a radical Islamic terrorism, you know. But I'm sure if it was a fucking Christian or a fucking libertarian who did this or a conservative, they'd be all oh, was a conservative Christian Catholic, you know. You know, I'm sure they'd be all over that. But since it's Islam and you know we gotta fucking let all these people in. Yeah, you know that that brings me to the to, to this other point of the of the whole Syrian refugee thing, and letting in all these refugees. Uh, we cannot just keep our borders wide fucking open and let all these people in. We obviously have a problem with ISIS, and it's not going to get any better. Um, we really have to fucking. We cannot let any people into our country unless we one hundred percent know who the fuck they are. We have documentation to verify who they are. And I think at this point in our in our country's time where we have an out of control debt, we have a lot of problems of our own. We're not it's not like we're fucking thriving over here. You know, it's like we gotta get our own shit together before we before we worry about other people's shit. I'm not saying close the borders, but I mean it's gotta be like if we're letting people in it's got to be like we need those people to do something for us. We, we got to think about ourselves first. We got to think about America first. We can't just let these Syrian refugees in and, and put ourselves at a higher risk of being bombed by by ISIS. We cannot just let ISIS flow free in, into our country. So, but that brings me to this uh, to, to this to the whole issue of gun control. The solution. What is the solution to this? Uh, obviously something went wrong. Uh, I realize we don't live in a utopia. We're not going to have zero murders per year. That's never going to happen. Um, it's, it's just not people. I mean, every we, we don't live in a utopia. So, but uh, obviously when 50 people get shot and killed, uh, the, 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 something went wrong there. And there's got to be a solution. I mean, I agree there's... 11,000 people getting killed by guns every year. I think the total homicide rate is 
like 16,000 or I don't fucking know what, what, what exactly it is. But the point is, there's a lot of fucking homicides in our country. Alright, there's, there's a lot of people being killed by murder, by homicide inside our country. And that's a problem. That's a problem that needs to be fixed. Many people on the left will argue it's the gun. It's the gun that's to blame. And I, I disagree. The gun is just a tool. The gun is just a tool that is used to carry out the crime. It needs a human element to carry it forward. So, it, it's not really the gun that's to blame. It's more of the crazy people, which tells you we have a very violent culture. And I know it's not the gun to blame, because if you look at Switzerland, which also has very loose gun laws compared to the rest of the world, they only have about 30 yeah, you know, the number was like twenty or thirty gun murders per year. So it's not about how many guns there are; it's more about the culture that determines how many homicides there are per year. Um, yes, Japan has a very fucking low gun homicide rate, but it's not really because that it's they ban guns; it's because they are a peaceful culture, and we're a culture that you know promotes. You know, like Grand Theft Auto, and we watch violent movies and shit like that. And, um, I mean, if you live in a good neighborhood, there's a very low chance of you getting killed by gun homicide. The, 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 the spots where, you know, gun homicides are way up are the, a lot of the inner cities where there's a lot of gangs. And, and a lot of the gang, gun homicides are, are, are between gang bangers. You know, and shit like that. Um, so, it's not like, you know, the media will make it seem like there's a mass shooting. Because they don't talk about when, you know, five people are killed in Detroit or Chicago or wherever. They, they focus on, you know, the, the mass shootings. They don't focus on the other ones. So, people might be deceived to be, to be thinking, oh, you know, automatic rifles are killing all these people. When in, when in reality, the, the mass shootings are a small percentage of the um, gun murders. And the automatic rifles only make up a small percentage of the gun murders. Um, and even if guns were legal, you know, let's say, okay, no guns. You know, or, 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 or at least we're going to limit guns. So that, um, you know, because then the left thinks, okay, if we have gun control, then... You know, the criminals will have a harder time getting guns because there'll be, um, you know, background checks, registration, whatever. But my argument is, even if something is illegal, like machine guns, high-powered guns, whatever the fuck you want to call them, even if there is a background check, the criminal can still get a gun illegally. It's not like this... Guns are just going to magically go away if um, if we you know outlaw a certain type of guns. There's going to be a black market. It's what's ha it's what happened with alcohol back in the 1920s. It's what's happening with drugs right now in the cartels, and it's going to happen with guns if we do it with guns. Um, y guns are not just going to fucking magically disappear. We're not like Japan, people. Like I said, we are a violent culture. That's what needs to be fixed, is our violent culture of gangbangers shooting everybody up. Not the fucking guns. The guns are not the problem. So, the, the main problem, I think, with this whole Orlando thing, is we need to focus on ISIS. That's the problem. Not guns. Uh, guns are the backbone of America. We need them not only to protect against um, criminals, but our own government too, to make sure it doesn't get too oppressive. So, so yeah, I mean, the last thing we need is, is guns taken away because, you know, you think that if you just take away guns, the criminals are just not going to have any guns. No, like I said, there's going to be a black market of guns too, if, 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 if we ban guns. So, um, and you can make the argument, well, you know, this person, you know, we, we, we gotta make sure that certain people don't have, aren't able to hold a gun. Like this guy, we could have made it harder for him to get a gun. Um, whatever. 
but I think if we have people in this country who we're not going to allow to have guns, um, then that, that, that person probably shouldn't even be in this country in the first place, or he should, he's obviously got a real fucking problem with him, uh, he sh or he, he probably should be in fucking jail if we're not going to allow him to have a fucking gun. Okay, so the the answer is not gun control. And even if you bar somebody from having a gun, there's still many other ways to kill people besides a gun. You could strap a bomb to yourself. You could run over people with a car. You could stab people. There's still other ways of fucking killing people besides, um, you know, shooting people with an automatic rifle. So even if you do ban guns, you know, you could still get in a car and run over a fucking 100 people. You know, it's, it, you're, you're never going to stop, you know, th there's ways to stop. Like, like this guy was being investigated by the FBI. Who knows if we could have actually stopped him or not. If there was a somebody in there with a concealed and carry license, that, that's a, that other thing. When there's a ton of people killed by a gun, it's usually inside of a gun-free zone where guns are not allowed. Uh, so, if there's somebody there to fucking shoot back, that could possibly have s helped, you know, stop this from happening. So, but I mean, that's really it. I mean, it, it is it is a complex issue because we're not really only talking about one issue here. We're talking about gun control. We're talking about uh, immigration. We're talking about ISIS. So... But I think if we leave our borders open and keep letting these Syrian refugees in here, uh, we're going to have more of these ISIS attacks. And, and ISIS is probably already inside of our country. So who, who the fuck knows? And it, like I said, it's a complex issue. Uh, it, there's a lot of like what ifs. You could say like, oh, what if this person is this? Should we allow him to have a gun? Should he be here? Should we deport him? You know, what if this? What if that? You know, it, it, it's a really complex issue. Um, and I, I think if we hadn't elected somebody like Obama to um, to run our country, um, then ISIS wouldn't have been created in the first place. If we would have had competent leaders, ISIS wouldn't have been created because of, because of us funding the so-called moderate rebels to fight Assad that fucking helped ISIS grow and I, I, I think we want to we want to have something like ISIS so that the government could take away our rights and they could also fight a war for the military industrial complex but it's like we almost I, I'm, I'm I was against I'm against the Iraq war against the Afghanistan war but it's almost like now you know we created ISIS pretty much the the, the West created ISIS not directly, but indirectly. But it's almost like we have to take it out now. Like we have to get somebody like Trump in there and we have to fucking destroy it or else it's going to continue to wreak havoc. We have to get tough on radical Islam people. And I'm not talking take away people's rights. I'm not talking about surveil random masks. I'm talking about if we have suspicions of people, uh, you, you know, who are fucking Muslim who we think could carry out an attack, fucking investigate them. I'm not talking fucking investigate all Muslims or fucking search all Muslims or whatever the fuck. But I mean, we, we have to get tough. We have to do something about this or else it's going to continue to happen. The problem, the problem is not guns. It's radical Islamic terrorism in, in, in this case. And let's not deflect this... Uh, argument from a second amendment argument let's focus on the fact that we have a fucking huge problem with with isis possibly coming into our country and murdering innocent americans and, and they have to be stopped or else this is going to continue to happen and we need fucking more guns to, to fucking shoot their asses if they come in here and and try to fuck up fuck, fuck us up because <clears throat> if we take away the guns and that just gives them more of an incentive to attack because they know we're not going to fight back. <coughs> and also, people will say, oh, the police will be there. The police aren't there. You know, it takes them time to respond. So that's why we need law-abiding citizens there to shoot bad people if, uh, 
if necessary. But there you go, people. There's kind of there's kind of a more in-depth video there on the Orlando shooting. So there you go, people.